Hey there, it's Mindy and it is day two of Dollar Tree Fall Week. If you haven't seen day one, I'll link it up here. Go ahead and check that out and then come back to this video. Today I have a boho style pumpkin wall hanging and it's really easy to do and simple to customize and create it in your own style. So let's get started. For my wall hanging, I'm using this pumpkin shape cutout, which is from a Dollar Tree sign, and it has a piece that goes in the middle, but I used that last year. I'm also using some things from my craft stash, a bunch of different yarns and uh, ribbons, and some beads, as well as these uh, little tiny beads from Dollar Tree, and some metallic paint. So this cutout has some glitter on it. So to get rid of that top layer, I did go ahead and sand it and I used my copper paint to paint the pumpkin. And I love how this turned out because you can still see the glitter uh, through the paint, but there isn't as much fallout as there would be if you just left it as is. So because I'm not sure that Dollar Tree is going to carry this sign again, I did go ahead and create a template which will be available on my blog and you can find the link to that in the description. But I used the template while my paint was drying on the pumpkin and just cut out strips of some macrame cord, uh, lace ribbon, I have this suede cord that I've had from a project and I'm trying to use it up. and some yarn that I had and those beads that I told you about and I did do just one string of those little beads from Dollar Tree just because they're so tough to get on the string itself so I just cut those to fit that inside part of the cutout and then I will arrange them the way I want them to hang on the inside Once my cords and ribbons were in the order I wanted, I just flipped over the pumpkin cutout and used my hot glue to attach them to the back. And then I'll simply just trim off any excess. I just love all the texture and uh, different elements that these pieces bring to this craft and I was just so surprised that I couldn't find anything when I searched for boho fall decor so I decided to make my own and I think this is just so boho and very chic for fall. To finish this off and just cover up uh, that hole that's at the top of the pumpkin there, I used these mini sunflowers, which I had also used in yesterday's craft, So, um, and I just love how these look. I just cut off the plastic piece that holds on to the stem and just glued three of those to the top just to give it a little bit of dimension. And for that top hole, I just used a piece of the suede cord to use as my hanger. I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree fall decor craft. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you decorate for fall. What colors do you use or what colors are you using this year? If you haven't checked out yesterday's video, go ahead and do that. It will be linked in the description. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you tomorrow for day three of Dollar Tree Fall Week. 
Thanks for watching.